The problem with all examples of drugs or chemical manipulations in the brain is that there is a finite amount of effect that it will have before the, it wears off and then you have to go again and take the same substance but the but over time the effectiveness is decreasing which means you have to if you want to gain the same effect double down and increase the amount that you're consuming in order to get the same effect and eventually you get so desensitized that no matter how much of this substance you consume it has no effect on you and then you have lost your interest in this thing and that is just a general rule that raw emotional chemical manipulation is such a difficult idea to try to focus on and invest in because the more you invest in it, the more you focus on it, the lower your return will be because people will get used to it, people will feel less um, enthralled and novel, it will feel less novel and it eventually will just pitter out and evaporate. And that's just a general rule. When eh, you look at different industries, this is the, there's this same contradiction. The contradiction between the emotional quick return, quick satisfaction, the thrill, and then on the other hand, the slow build-up of detail and rational contemplation and thought. And unless this balance is figured out, the industry falls apart. And so, take for example, so because there's constantly this market pressure to increase revenue and increase market share and increase attendance, the people who run the industries and who produce the content are constantly in search of finding ways that allow them to make something more thrilling and interesting. And so the pressure is to make it more full of emotional manipulation, more basic humanistic reactions, and less about rational contemplation and detailed careful thinking, which are very boring when you first look at them. And so in every industry you can think of, the pressure of, in of increasing the amount of emotional manipulation and the more basic rud rudimentary instincts goes up and then there's a decrease in the substantive content. In movies, In movies, the actual plot, where you develop storylines, you get interesting characters, you sympathize with them, you go on the journey of who they are and what they're doing, is very slow and boring. But the chase scenes and the, the blood and the guts and the sex and the nudity, that is the exciting stuff. And so in mainstream Hollywood, there is this constant pressure in movie producers and directors to, and editors to decrease the amount of plot and character development which are boring and are going to get less interest and much more of an increase in the raw the raw violence and nudity and the thrill of the emotional climax. And then movie critics will point out that Hollywood movies are so shallow and boring because they follow a very same formula. They, um, it's a cookie-cutter system. 
every dozen of Ho Hollywood movies could be swapped for another dozen, and you would know, and you would not notice the difference. The same problem is in journalism. The actual core of journalism is rather boring in terms of investigative journalism to find out hidden details. It's all about going undercover, collecting sources, following money trails, following loose leads. It's very slow and tedious. It often gets you nowhere and it's it requires a lot of concentration to remember where everything is and what everything is happening. And then, on the other hand, the content in the media that gets the most attention, that is the easiest to produce, and then in the media, and then on the other hand, the content in the media which is both easiest to produce and gets the most attention are things like celebrity gossip reproducing media releases that you get from the government it doesn't require the thing about celebrity gossip is that it again appeals to base instincts about someone's personal life and trying to spread rumours about what's happening and it tends to be very popular on the internet because it's often organised on a clickbait system and people become attracted to it and often it requires no work because you can almost make it up and just say that sources have told you something and you can get away with it And, of course, media critics have pointed out that substantive investigative journalism is a dying profession because so much energy and time is being put into these tabloidy, cheap thrills of things like clickbait, celebrity gossip, and the, so on. And so the constant pressure is the same. The detailed, rational contemplation is just too boring, it, it's too expensive to organise, and it doesn't get nearly enough uh, eyeballs when it's done properly, which means on a cost-benefit analysis it shouldn't be there, and the pressure is then to just have your entire media production just on celebrity gossip.